so welcome for the session the next topic we are going to do is terminating device terminating device is the final stage in the measurement systems if i recall the basic block diagram of measurement system the first component is primary transducer that is a primary stage after that intermediate modifying devices then after that final terminating devices so terminating devices basically the operator should be knowing what exactly the machine is showing that means terminating device will be helpful for the operator in order to understand what the process happening in the system or what is the result of the input device or what is the object being sensed or what is the final voltage current resistance etc so these things it is understood by the operator in order to make ease of understanding for the operator we are using terminating devices many terminating devices are there if you take an example of console of an automobile you will be having an indication of park brake you will be having an indication of indicator left turn right turn you will be having an indication of headlight also there are lots of display will be there in the operation console and that display is obtained because of some intermediate modifying devices and the because of that display will be knowing whether the system is uh, stable or not and another important thing is the display what you are getting if handbrake is not being activated then there is a display that means press handbrake nowadays there is a voice interaction also that means for ease of making understanding the equipments will be used in terminating devices so basically there are three categories while we consider a term terminating device one is relative displacement relative displacement is just a movement the pointer and scale deflection either you can move more pointer or you can move scale so that will be there in the measurement system if you move the pointer the pointer will direct what is the value if you take any torque meters if you take any pressure gauges there is a pointer that pointer is showing some reading because of that you will be knowing what exactly is the reading the deflection is because of pointer basically it is a deflection it is relative displacement relative displacement is the movement of pointer will be proportional to movement of scale that means there will be amplification in moving the amplification is achieved whenever we want to sense an object that means the movement of pointer is proportional to some intermediate modifying devices uh, amplification here there are several things even a light beam can be a relative displacement the movement of light travel then digital form most of the cases digital form is very easy to understand in that odometers are digitalized that means how many kilometers you have traveled then electric decode counter that is also there counters it can be mechanical or it can be electrical you can have a timer and counter then rotating drum mechanical counter rotating drum mechanical counter this is a rotating drum mechanical counter which is will be used in automobiles odometers so it is showing some reading 1257 it can show any of the readings based on the movement of the drum so here worm wheel attachment is provided that is fixed to the wheel because of rotation of wheel this will also sense and finally the counter you will get particular reading and then yes or no display some of the times yes or no display itself is sufficient this message is sufficient if you own a seat belt yes that indication is sufficient sometimes we need continuous monitoring for those systems that means if i not word any seat belts there will be a beep sound for some time after that it will go again it will appear again it will go because it is one of the safety precautions and sometimes what happens if you won't wear a seat belt the air bags will not get opened if any accident happens if you wear a proper seat belt then air bag will open that means seat belt has a connectivity with the air bag so interconnection of the system is also we need to ensure whether the system is working in a stable condition or not people will say airbag has not opened the car is waste no 
first you have to wear the seat belt if you wear the seat belt then airbags will open this is an interconnection i need to see the indication of seat belt so safety aspects we have to give more in case of terminating devices that means human must understand the system properly and thoroughly and the information should be more with least possible indications that is one of the objective of terminating devices even if oil pressure is low that is also indicated it is just yes or no just a light will come yes and you can have a message like service do you most of the applications you can see only in automobiles cases and these three are the basic terminating devices based on displacement and digital form and yes or no these types of indication we will be providing in order to give an information for the operator most of the cases if we want a simple terminating device that simple terminating device is pointer and scale pointer and scale itself is a simple terminating device and with a low cost so this is a pointer scale as shown in the figure this is a scale it is having 1 2 3 like that if it is a pressure gauge 10 20 30 40 etc so this is a pointer and this is one of the meter indicator based on d arson wall principle d arson wall type principle what is the principle of this just when you apply a magnetic field towards the coil it will get deflected that is the principle of d arson wall type meter so if you bring magnet in contact with the coil what happens because of electromagnetic induction there will be a deflection in the pointer because of this it will move that is a basic principle and it is a least cost effective method if the magnet intensity is more then more deflection if the magnet intensity is less less deflection again there is a error because of magnets it will undergo hysteresis but it is a low cost but not so accurate in order to have an accurate systems we are using electrical indicators the best example for electrical indicator is basic analog type is ohm meter and ammeter volt meter ohm meter will be measuring the resistance volt meter will be measuring the voltage ammeter will be measuring the current if i want to measure an voltage what should be the resistance i have to place like this this is basically a dc volt meter arrangement if i want to measure current put resistance parallel that is nothing but it is a shunt resistance so here we are using multiplier resistance series of resistance we can add thereby it will be measuring the voltage across the terminals basically it will be used uh there are several indications of electrical one is you can measure resistance you can measure voltage you can measure current you can measure current for ac current for dc you can measure voltage for ac and voltage for dc even you can measure resistance you can measure the gain of a transistor that is also possible so that will be available in one digital meter if you buy the digital meter everything will be recorded that is for easy understanding of an operator and these things will be having comprises of a bridge circuitry inside that always there is an intermediate modifying devices but finally what i need i need only a current i need only a voltage i need only a resistance i need only a gain so these are the different kinds of outputs what we require in digital meter and number 3 is one of the mechanical counter that is advantage it is a mechanical system it is having a drum this drum is having a worm attachment that is connected to the wheel and there is a pole here once if it is rotated it cannot be reversed it should not go back again if you get one next you have to get next digit like that so this is one of the uh, basic thing we will be using so this is counter it is counting the instruction it is also used for time and date for seals same thing you can have a manual adjustment the same principle we will be using in mechanical counter here there is a pole and rochet 
This is a ratchet and pawl mechanism. Because of rotation of this, this pawl will seize the degrees of freedom in other direction. And uh, certain resistance will be provided for suitable damping in order to make a movement easily, spring and damper system can be used. This is about terminating devices. Another important terminating device is cathode ray oscilloscope. The name itself indicates cathode ray, we are using a cathode. From the cathode, electrons will be emitted and that is finally terminated at anode. During this transformation, you will be getting some graphs or waveforms. Waveforms. That means basically in CRO we are we are getting oscillograph. Oscillograph is nothing but it is an oscillations curve. Oscillations. That oscillations is nothing but a waveforms. That means by seeing the waveforms, you can see whether the system is stable or not. Most of the cases, when we take up heart beat, that is nothing but ECG, echocardiography, the same waveform is being analyzed whether there is any heart attack or whether there is any heart problem or not. By seeing the oscillograph, they will identify what is the nature of the heart. So, similarly, there are several things, the one fine output device in the electronics is CRO. By looking into the waveforms, we can calculate many of the parameters. So let us see what is cathode row oscilloscope. Even in mechanical also there are vibrations, there is a waveforms. By seeing the oscillations in the system, one can define what is the frequency. By knowing the frequency, we can know what is the resonant frequency and other parameters. By seeing this, we will be knowing whether the system is stable or not. That means, if there is any vibrations in the system, that is not permitted. So, by seeing the waveforms also, we can analyze mechanical systems. So, this is basically used for electrical and electronic devices and here we will be measuring the waveforms and then it is voltage sensitive instrument with an inertia less beam of electron sh striking the screen that means the inertia if we take if we take flow if we take mass mass into velocity then what happens here is the movement of electrons is very low because of which you have low amount of inertia because of low inertia it is sensitive to voltage so this is cathode ray oscilloscope this is a diagram basically it consists of three parts one is electron gun assembly another one is electron gun or a heater then vertical deflection plates and horizontal deflection plates electron gun assembly electron gun and deflection plates Basically what I need is, I need electrons. How to get electrons? Electrons will be coming from cathode. So the movement of electron will be taking place from cathode to anode. Cathode is a good emitter of electrons. Anode is a good attractor of electrons. So from the cathode, how to generate an electron? One is you can have a potential difference and other one is you can heat by using a heater. If you heat this, what happens? The electrons flow will be generated from the cathode. And we need to direct the flow of electrons. We need to control the flow of electrons. In order to control the flow of electrons, the grids are used. So here, the grid will be controlling the direction of movement of electron from cathode to anode. After that, there are accelerating anodes. That means, since it is having low inertia, accelerating anodes are used in order to increase the velocity of electrons because of which the electrons will be moving. Then after that, there are certain waveforms generated. The waveforms can be anything. It can be a square wave, it can be a triangular wave, it can be a satu wave, etc. So basically, the waveforms will be having like this. And this waveform will be having 
both x and y dimensions. That means we need to control the movement of this graph in either direction x and y. How to control? For that we will be adding a deflection plate, horizontal deflection plate and vertical deflection plate. It will control the movement of waveforms in horizontal as well as vertical direction. After that we will be getting an image that means this can be an image. We are getting a graph on fluorescent screen. Fluorescent screen are used as an output screen in order to get a graph in fluorescent screen other light images will not be affected only the graph from the electrons will be highlighted so basically it's a white screen purely white screen after getting the graph we will be knowing what exactly the system behaves like so this is a basic block diagram of CRO basically it is a principle of CRT in other words electron assembly will be called as cathode ray tube in the cathode ray tube you will be having this tube with a heater with an accelerating anodes so this is a block diagram this is how the basic principle of cathode ray oscilloscopes you can use many of the things uh, meanwhile one can use uh, deflection plates more in order to get more linear movement basically it has shown one or two but you can have anything you can have an amplifier circuit where you can modulate the amplifier generally oscillating amplifiers will be used so in order to get a smooth curve fashion that means still you can amplify the graph for that oscillating amplifiers will be used sometimes you can convert this to a certain value that is also possible uh, digital conversion and analog conversion that can also be adopted in this system but basically we need a graph for that graph certain modulation is being done even for that you can have amplitude and frequency modulation for that graph only you can zoom it and see zoom it and see is nothing but you will be seeing some desired frequency and desired amplitude that is nothing but frequency and amplitude modulation what is the system at 60 hertz what is the system at 50 hertz what is the system at 10 hertz what is the system at 10 voltage what is the system at 20 voltage what is the system at 0.2 voltage so whenever you have these kinds of values we need certain modulations with respect to voltage and current so here the modulation is being done for frequency and amplitude that's why amplitude and frequency modulation can be adopted in order to get smooth fashion basically sawtooth wave is being sensed in the CRT and that will be amplified with the help of rectifier and then and then that rectifier will be converting AC to DC signal and sometimes we need more accurate signal in that cases you can have a Z modulation Z modulation is nothing but you are modulating the output waveforms that is nothing but Z modulation so many electronics can be used but for you mechanical engineers this block diagram is sufficient just it consists of a cathode from the cathode the electrons will be flowing we need to control the direction of electrons for that we will be using a grid after that accelerating anode since there is a low inertia of electrons accelerating anode is used basically it will increase the velocity after that horizontal and deflection plates will be used in order to control the waveform directions then you will get a waveform on fluorescent screen this is cathode ray oscilloscope what are the applications the first application is here you will be observing the waveform by seeing the waveform itself we can we can tell what is the response time in the system what is the frequency of the system what is the time what is the oscillations what is the damping so many parameters can be analyzed because of waveforms whether it is dependent on time independent of time these things you can conclude by seeing the graph apart from this there are additional advantages you can measure voltage and current and 
you can measure phase relations and frequency frequency measurement this is one of the most optical optimized thing we will be using in metrology and measurements so the waveform frequency this is one of the frequency waveforms this is another frequency waveforms like this there are several frequency waveforms based on the signal the even the intensity of signal can also be modified by seeing the graph again extension of frequency you can do pulse width modulation it is very helpful when you convert ac to dc or dc to ac you can have a pulse width modulation and you can design a bridge by seeing that how much intensity of the bridge is needed in the circuit so just these three advantages but more so ever in the waveform itself you have lots and lots of parameters like time delay system response speed oscillations etc etc the next topic in your syllabus is oscillograph oscillograph is just a graph obtained from a device so you are obtaining this graph oscillograph by using cathode rod tube is there are any other methods yes there are other several methods one is using stylus it is called as stylus type it is a principle of d orson wall meter measurement same thing a magnet will be used in front of the coil because of electromagnetic induction instead of pointer in the previous case the pointer is replaced with stylus the stylus is being used and this stylus will trace the graph or a path generated on the paper and this paper you can use a fluorescent or any normal paper and the stylus is being traced and this graph you can see what is the type of the system again here the limitation magnitude of magnets that means what is the intensity of magnetic flux so if you vary magnetic flux if you use a strong magnet the movement of stylus is different if you use a weak magnet the movement of stylus is different so the magnitude of magnet intensity of magnetic flux is important in electromagnetic induction the same play vital role here so this is a stylus step we are using stylus and stylus stylus is tracing some curve another thing is light beam or mirror type so here the light beam are used to draw a curve that means you will get a trace from the light source so basically the system is remain same the same thing is showed as a 3d but what is the extra thing here is for the same assembly we will be adding mirrors the mirror is being added and it is fixed here and it is fixed here in other words anchored along with we will be apply some excitation that is nothing but input voltage is being applied here because of this what happens the electric flux will be more always because of this you will get smoother movement then the deflection of magnetic flux and electric flux is deflected in the mirror and the light is being sensed on the mirror because of deflection of magnetic and electric flux because of change in electromagnetic induction you will get a waveform from the light here a light source is being used and that is passed on to a lens lens will control the movement of light in one direction you can use collimating lens or anything then that light is made fall on the mirror this is an incident beam <coughs> incident beam in incident beam the light is falling on the mirror from the light source then reflected beam the light is falling from the mirror and it is tracing a wave form or tracing a curve or anything and compulsorily we cannot use paper here compulsorily we have to use photographic paper which is sensitive to light because light is tracing some wave form stylus is not tracing any wave form here here it is light so that should be a photographic films so again another lens is used in order to control the direction of 
the reflected beam. Again, incident beam has different intensity, reflected beam has different intensity. Based on this, the waveform is being drawn. Again, you can measure what is the magnitude. The figure looks very tough, but it is not so tough, just you are adding magnet. The same diagram is showed in 3D. North and South coil assembly with a mirror. This mirror is having light from light source. So this is a principle of light beam or mirror type oscillograph. So this is about your syllabus. And there are many applications of CRO and oscillograph. Because of this oscillograph they have developed XY plotters. Even that is also there. In XY plotter this is only a one dimension draw. Either in X or Y. XY plotter will be drawing both the dimensions. That means X as well as Y simultaneously. It will be having two stylus, hence the name XY plotter. That is also a principle of oscillograph, but that is not there in your syllabus. Oh, so with this we completed module 4 of your syllabus. So in the module 4 we started with measurement systems. The generalized measurement system, it consists of three things. Transducer, intermediate modifying devices and terminating devices. The same thing we have studied in detail. We have studied in detail what is a transducer, first part. We have studied in detail what is intermediate modifying devices, second part. And what is terminating devices, in detail, we studied. So, apart from that, we have studied also the static and dynamic characteristics of the measurement. Static characteristics are readability, precision, accuracy, loading effects, error, calibration, sensitivity, etc etc these parameters we defined as well as we understood what exactly in the system and dynamic characteristics dynamic characteristics are like system response time delay these two parameters we studied then apart from that we studied what are the errors and classification of errors based on several techniques errors that was studied in detail then after that transducer was studied that is the first part in the measurement system transducer, different types of transducer, primary and secondary transducer, analog and digital transducers, etc. Then mechanical transducer, electrical transducer, electronic transducer, those things we studied there itself. And then after that, intermediate modifying devices. In intermediate modifying devices, we studied mechanical inherent problems. What are the different problems in mechanical systems? We have overcome those problems with the help of electrical and electronic one. Again, mechanical inner end problems we studied. After that, electronic or electrical intermediate modifying devices. Electrical intermediate modifying devices, input circuitry we have studied. One is current sensitive and another one is voltage sensitive. We derived the expression for current sensitive and voltage sensitive and we see which is better. So phase transformation, which is better compared to that. Then after that, Ballard circuit that is voltage uh, sensitive circuit that can be also asked. After that electronic amplifiers, vacuum tube amplifiers we studied and some types of electronic amplifiers. What are the advantages of electronic over electrical? You studied all those things. Then after that terminating devices. Terminating devices first we started with a simple mechanical system pointer and scale type that is D arson one type then after that mechanical counters we studied voltmeter and ammeters then a typical terminating device cathode ray oscilloscope we have studied waveforms oscillographs we have studied oscillographs is having direct writing stylus type and light beam type these things we have studied in detail and there are no problems in this module but they can ask sketch and explanation thank you